What's up guys, welcome back to the Poker Vlog. This is episode number 70, and this one we have a blast. We hang out with Johnny Vibes in San Diego, play a 510 poker session with him, and then after that we go to an open mic where Chrissy Arnett does her first ever stand-up comedy routine. It's a lot of fun, but before we get into it, I've got a brief announcement to make. Jonathan Little and I are doing a giveaway together, which I'm super excited about. For those of you who aren't familiar with him, he is a tournament crusher. Uh, he's got like six or seven million in tournament earnings. He's won some major events. He's an author and he's got a site now. It's called pokercoaching.com. It's one of the best ways to learn uh, cash game and tournament strategy. What I really like about it is that there are these interactive poker hand quizzes. And uh, basically you go through the hands yourself, make all the decisions. And then Jonathan and Matt Affleck, they uh, tell you after which decisions were correct and why. And then there's a lot of group webinars, much, much more on the site. It's a great way to improve your game. What we're doing with the giveaway is we are giving the winner a free one year membership to the site. Usually it's $39 a month. So there's $468 of value there. Plus Jonathan will coach the winner one on one and give him or her a bunch of free books. It's absolutely free to join the contest. All you have to do is click on the link that I'll provide below in the description box, enter in your email, that's it. Just for doing that, you'll receive a free PDF copy of Jonathan's latest book in which he goes through 15 cash game and tournament hands. So uh, I highly suggest signing up for the contest. Like I said before, it's absolutely free and you get this free PDF copy so you get some uh, really good uh, strategy content for Absolutely nothing. Pretty awesome. All right, let's go ahead and get into the episode. Hope you guys enjoy it. So uh, 510 just opened up, which is cool because the game, Johnny has said, hasn't been running too much. Yeah, no, it's, we're very happy about it. Yeah, Are you double fisting? Double, yeah. Are you double fisting yeah, on the sorry. blog. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to spice it up in the 510. Okay, all right. We take our seat. I buy in for 2,000. Johnny's on my direct left and is in for the max at 3,000. Everyone else has between 500 and 2K. It appears that we're the only two pros. The game looks great. Right away we get into the action. We pick up a7 of clubs in the big blind. The cutoff opens to 50. The small blind calls. I'm closing the action getting over two to one with a suited ace, I call as well. The three of us see the flop and it comes king seven five with two diamonds and one club. Small blind checks. We have middle pair with a backdoor flush draw. I check. The cutoff bet 60. The small blind folds. This is a reasonable bet, we call. We're heads up and the turn is the ace of diamonds. We pick up two pair, but the flush comes in. I check, the cutoff continues here for 110. Feels like we have the best hand, but it's hard to know for sure since the cutoff opened preflop and has now fired two streets. I call once again, now the river's the five of hearts. If I check, I'm certainly gonna call a bet no matter what. A lot of the hands that we're beating are gonna check back though. I can't let that happen, so instead I lead for 250. The player tanks, then eventually makes the call. We turn over a7, and it's good. We win a nice size pot and are immediately up around 500. Next, we pick up ace 10 offsuit in the cutoff. A rec player in middle position opens to 30. This is a hand that I don't like calling with, even in position, especially since it allows other people to enter the pot behind me for a relatively cheap price. The preflop raiser has been opening somewhat light, and I have a decent card removal. So I don't like folding it either. I go with the three bet for 100 in order to win the pot right away or isolate while in position. The opponent folds though. We take one down preflop uncontested. Here we have king queen of hearts on the button. The hijack was our nemesis in the last hand opens again, this time to 25. As I mentioned before, we're up against somebody who opens light. I don't have much of an issue with calling, but why do that when I can three bet and potentially win right away? Even if I get called, I'll be playing a larger pot in position with a hand that has a lot of potential against someone who I perceive to be a weaker player. I make it 80. I don't get the fold this time. The preflop raiser makes the call, so we're heads up, and the flop comes ace-jack-6 with two hearts. We flop a flush draw and a gutter. It's a great situation for us. The hijack checks. A lot of the time, I'll down bet here because people aren't going to fold a pair of aces, but I have so much potential to make a big hand, I don't mind betting more to inflate the pot in case I do hit a heart or 10 on a later street. I bet 100. The hijack, then check min raises to 200 total. I don't see any reason to re-raise. 
The opponent could potentially be very strong. I'm getting a great price in position with big draws, so I call 100 more. The turn is a bad card, it's another jack. Now the opponent shoves for 520. This is a frustrating situation because I could potentially be drawing dead. I don't want to get it in with a draw on a paired board, so I lay it down. The opponent shows ace eight offsuit, plays it weird, but ends up working well for him and kind of made the maximum, I guess. Now we have pocket jacks under the gun plus two. We're playing eight handed and our nemesis in the last hands is under the gun plus one. He opens to 40. He called our last three bet with ace eight off. So we're three betting here for sure. I make it 140. The cutoff, who's an older dude, that Johnny told me is a tight player that usually plays in smaller games. Four bet jams for 1100, folds back to me. I finally have a hand that I was able to three bet for value, but against a player with this profile, I don't feel comfortable getting it in. I'm forced to lay it down. It's no fun, but better than potentially losing piles. We're back to around even now when we pick up queen 10 of hearts in the big blind. The hijack opens to 30. He's a new player who seems to play recreationally as well. The cutoff calls and so does the button. As you guys may have realized, I like three betting and this seems like a fine spot to squeeze. So I make it 170. The initial preflop raiser calls for 140 more. The cutoff folds and the button calls. So we're going three ways to the flop. We haven't had much luck in three betting so far today, but that's about to change. Flop comes queen 10 nine with two clubs. We got top two pair in a big pot. I lead for 340. The hijack goes into the tank. Then he jams for 725 total. The button folds. I'm not going anywhere. I call. We're hoping for a clean run out here, but the turn is the jack of hearts. Not great for us. There's four to the straight and the river is the seven of spades. The opponent turns over ace king offsuit. So he drilled a gutter on us and made the nuts then scoops a 2K pot. That one hurts, but we were in about the best situation we could be in when we got the money in. Unfortunately, it didn't work out for us. We add on for 1200 more, then pick up queen eight of hearts on the button. I open to 30, folds to the big blind. He's one of the YouTube viewers, his name is Chris. We get into some fun table talk in this one, so I'll turn up the audio and let you listen. Chance get on the vlog, man, chance get on the vlog. Yeah, how much? 30. 30, but a lifetime of infamy on in, on YouTube. Bring them, just just oh. just ship the pot. Already. Yeah, I got you beat, Brad. Got you okay, beat. hatch out. I got a, I got a big pair. Do you? A Give sevens? Pair. It's always sevens slow when they say play, that. Huh? It's always sevens. I'll check it to you. Real slow play. What? what, what what's that? See you how big that big pair is. Pair. See how big the pair is. Do you pop a set of queens? You're the one with the big pair. Not that big. Right, Thank okay. you. Thank you. All right, I appreciate it. Check. Check. Thirty. <laughs> What's your name, man? Chris. Chris. You're not gonna make the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do? Thank you. You'll make it. You'll make it. Despite losing a decent chunk of money, I had a great time playing. I wish I could stay since the game is good, but it's time to rack up and go see our friend in our first ever stand-up show. We had a good chance to have a nice session there. That all-in pot really screws you. <laughs> yeah, so ended up losing 1400. My hourly here is not great. Played two hours. I mean, I actually really like your three bet there and then flopping top two, obviously, betting and then getting jammed on. It's just like a spot where you obviously have to snap call and your equity is great there. You're gonna you're gonna be a big winner on this session, but unless the gutter ball comes. Yep. <laughs> So now we're off to see Christy. It's still gonna be fun. I'm enjoying being out in San Diego and it's nice gonna be a good night. Hell yeah, let's go. We get to the open mic and Johnny's whole crew is there. It's Christy Arnett, Andrew, who's Johnny's brother, and this gentleman here who is on the left, he looks like Obama. He is actually the president of the World Poker Tour. He said he'd make a thousand dollar donation to charity if Christy gave stand up a shot, which is how this whole night came about. Several other impressive acts start out the night it's almost Christie's turn. I'm nervous for her, 
but she takes a stage. No idea what to expect. She ends up completely crushing though. This is just a short clip I have. I don't end up videoing the whole thing because I want to enjoy it while I'm there. I'm extremely impressed though. She's got a lot of guts and it's amazing that she did that and all for a good cause. A few acts later, a guy by the name of Joey Arise takes the stage and the first thing he does is grab the mic and give a shout out to Johnny and I and says that he watches the vlogs. Really cool because it's something that we weren't expecting. We never met the guy before. He's a beatboxer and he's extremely talented. Here's a little bit of what Joey's able to do. What's that song, guys? The guy's incredible. The whole crowd loves him. Next, we hit the town a little with the crew. We celebrate Chrissy's success and get a nightcap. In the morning, I take the train along the coast to LA. I pick up Andrew Nimi's car while he flies from LA to Detroit. I then drive back to Las Vegas. That's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to have the notifications turned on. That way you're notified every time I put out a new video. Uh, also, if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section. I'm happy to get back to you. I wanna give a big thanks to Johnny Vibes for hosting me, uh, for taking me around San Diego, and uh, thanks to his whole crew. Christy Arnett killed it, so if I find the link to that comedy routine that she did, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in the uh, description box below. Also, check out Johnny Vibes' channel. He's got a lot of really good content, uh, super good poker strategy, and very high quality production value. I think he should have like five times as many subscribers as he has now. Um, be sure to sign up for the contest as well. Give yourself a free PDF copy of Jonathan Little's latest book and uh, give yourself a chance to win a one year free membership to his site, uh, co uh, poker coaching session, and lots of free books. I'm going to announce the winner September 30th, so just be sure to sign up in the link below uh, before then. I'm gonna be going out to Denver September 20th through the 24th to play some HBT events. I'm gonna jump into some satellites and I'm definitely playing the main. I'd love to see you guys out there. Uh, if you're gonna be out there, then tag me, uh, the HPT, and Spade Sunshades in a tweet. And uh, if you see me in person, I'll give you a free pair of sunshades. I've got like 10 to 15 to give out, so uh, as long as I have some on hand, I'm happy to give some away. Hope you're all doing well. Good luck at the tables, and I'll see you next time.